the first step in workflow of biomarker studies is pilot study with small sample size. The goal of such studies is not to identify or verify good biomarkers with high certainty. The main goal is to find out whether it's worthwhile to be extended with larger sample size or redesign it or even discard it. For this step, we applied a statistical tool called HyperMap to evaluate this pilot study and judge the potential of finding biomarker. We use entropy to compute the goodness of, single, of each center biomarker candidate in real data set and also random data with the same dimension of real one. Also, we need to estimate B values to compute the confidence interval. As an example, we have uh, a, data, a real data set from medical school in Hanover with more than 50,000 biomarker candidates. And with such number of biomarker uh, candidates, the potential become very small and number of simulations that require to estimate the B values very high. In our case, we need 5 million simulations. We need around four hours to run the code in the original uh, R code, um, while in DFE, we need only 5.6 seconds. The runtime accelerated 2,000 times, 2,500 times. And now we will run the application. So we now see the application running at a testbed at the University of Bielefeld, and uh, we have integrated a Maxfella, uh, Maxfella Max5 DFE into the system. So what you see here is two versions of the applications running, um, the original R version and the accelerated DFE version. In this example, we have fixed the amount of time so that both applications take the exact amount of time, the same amount of time to compute, but you see an extreme difference in the number of simulations that were carried out. Uh, so in the first case, there are 5,900 uh, simulations and in the accelerated uh, application, there are 5 million simulations. Now that's a, a difference in the speed up of around 800. Um, now I should briefly comment on this uh, extreme speed up. This is due to the fact that uh, we've went from a, an un unoptimized R version, which is single threaded, to a highly optimized CV version. We've also done an intermediate version, which is optimized C++, and we saw that the speed up of going from R to optimized C++ was about 40, and then going from C++ to the DFE version was another speed up of 20. So a speed up of 20 against optimized C++ software is, is a, a more common typical outcome for such an acceleration process. And now we'll run the application again and see at the energy efficiency. Now here in this dashboard, you see the uh, power usage. And uh, the first spike you see is the power of the unoptimized uh, R application. And then you see a second spike, which is a much lower power. So this is the accelerated version uh, running on the DFE. So we see that power is optimized. Um, we also see in the panel above the um, simulations per watt and the overall simulations. Now ignore the the high values on the side, uh, there is no simulations running at this point. What, what, what's relevant is the, the very low uh, simulation per watt and the highest simulation per watt that are compared in the middle, uh, which are the outcome of the, again, unaccelerated and the accelerated version. Okay, so when we fetch the runtime to 5.6 seconds, we can run using the original R code only around 5,900. That leads to zero confidence. While for 5 million simulation using DFE, we uh, get 95% confidence. And this is obvious in the plot. Uh, we can see in the plot without using the DFE, where the upper confidence interval in the green line is below the orange one, which represents the random data. And this is completely wrong from statistical point of view. With such cooperation, we can implement HyperMap for bigger data sets with more biomarkers candidates and larger sample size, which we have never dreamed to touch it before. Thank you so much. <laughs>